Hi you guys, this is OSP. We'll be back with this new short video tutorial. In this tutorial, simple, I'm going to show how can you create an executable file in your done project. So this is my project so far, the one I have. Let me just actually happen to show you uh, my project, the one I actually had really made an executable file of. This is it. It's come actually with the files and this uh, the file and even the version of the project is actually version 1 if you actually happen to see from here up on the project So I actually actually removed the app and this is it outside here So if you just click on it the project actually happened to be like that that implies the entire information of the project is just inside after I log in into this uh, Simple login form. So guys, let us just go back to the visual basics This may be this might be also maybe your project if I told you have anyone any of your project there What you just have to do go to projects now before going to project we should also must know what's the name of your project the one you're doing this one of mine is just called windows application one i think you can just see from your app uh, just go to project and then you go to one known as windows application pro windows application one property then after you going then just go down where they say publishing uh click on publishing here i know you might have been when it's an application just go down to publish and on publish you can set the version how you like, which version, and maybe what of your project. Uh, now, this one I may also just leave it as version 1, but just go here down when they say pre, uh, pre uh, just something like that here. Come here, just uh, click on it, and then let us try to uh, where they say greatest setup program to install pre uh, components. I will not need it at the moment, I just want to move that off, and I say OK. And actually, after doing so, come here just up and set the path. Where do you want to set the path? Where do you want your project to be? I would like my project actually to be in the desktop. I'm just going to pick in the desktop and that's it. I'm just going to pick in the desktop here. And just say, okay, set the path where actually with the project after after publishing or when publishing, where will it actually be on? Uh, then just come on down here and actually set to be okay. You can also go here down when they say options on the projects. Where they say deploy, come here on where they say deployment, click on the deployment and just use, remove this word where they say use deploy for extension. Remove it off, just untick it and just say okay. Then that's enough. Then you guys just come here down where they say publish now. If I click publish now, I think now you see it is now running the program. And I think now it is done. Uh, it is done. I think you can see somewhere within the project. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I think you can see it is somewhere within here the project. Let us just go up to down and try to see where is it really in this project here. So I think you can see it comes out actually with this simple kind of application location one, application one. Uh, but since I have the name called application, so they just happen to come inside this actually application. So what I'm going to do at the moment, I'm just going to move this because I don't want to install in this machine at the moment. I'm just going to move this one off, drag it off. I actually put my recycle bin. So I'm just going to open up this actual application of ours, double click on it, and just drag this setup of the application, just drag it outside here, and that's all, that's enough. So guys, just double click on this one here and as you double click on it guys i think now you can see it's really working whereby now allowing me now i actually have to put the username and then the password for my actually my simple system here whereby if i have to do so with all the files i think you can see all the files actually tend to pop up with my project so guys that's how you can make a simple and that's actually guys how you can make actually make one known as an executable file to your project of a video basics so guys that's it thanks for watching please make sure you subscribe to this video hope it has helped you thank you